Selling your first $100,000 on Amazon shouldn't be as complicated as most people make it. So in this video, I'm going to show you some free and paid tools that'll all together be about $60 a month. And using those, you should be able to sell your first $100,000 on Amazon. So if that sounds like a bold plan, I'm super excited to jump into the computer over here and show you exactly how that works. But real quick, before we jump into that, if you guys are brand new to the channel, my name's Warner Fields from Fields of Profit. I'm a full-time, a seven-figure Amazon seller. And I also wanted to let you know that if you're ready to take Amazon seriously, I would love to see you on our next free Amazon masterclass. We do some live demonstrations. We answer your questions live. And I would love to be able to help out your Amazon business there in a structured format. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down below. It's completely free. I'll see you on the masterclass and let's go ahead and jump into it. But let's just get rolling here. I'm going to give you a super quick demo on a lot of these basic tools you need. And we're going to talk about some free stuff that's going to help your business go a lot further. So the first tool that pretty much every Amazon business needs is this tool right down here. It's called Keepa. It's about 20 bucks a month. It embeds on every product on Amazon. There's lots of cool stuff you can do with Keepa. But the basic reason you need Keepa is that it helps you understand the past history of the item so that you can basically predict the future of the item. And, you know, obviously, if you can predict the future of the item, you can predict how profitable you're going to be and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that makes sense for why that would be so valuable. But I just wanted to kind of do a quick demo on this, maybe even simplify this a little bit for us as well. So when I take away these these lines here, we can see that the green line is sales rank. So that's showing us how fast it sold over time. So you can really just get an idea of general trends. So this is like, you know, a trading card type product. And you can see how last Christmas time, you see how that, that sales rank dipped super, super fast. It looks like it was like right around Christmas. So maybe people were buying card sleeves for some Christmas presents they had just gotten. Realistically, you know, they were opening up some packs of cards on Christmas. You know, some people probably bought these as Christmas gifts. So you can really make sense. So you can see that the sales rank is dropping right there as, you know, it's getting more popular coming into Christmas time, right? And what a lot of these trends are gonna be able to tell you, I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on Keepa. I've got, you know, a super long tutorial on Keepa so you can break it down in more detail. I'd recommend watching kind of the expanded versions of these tutorials after you watch this video as well. So this tells me right away that this product is pretty popular come Christmas time. So that's a valuable insight, right? The other thing we can figure out a lot of times is how does the price react when it gets more or less popular? So you can track that with the buy box price line up here. So you can see that as more and more people were buying this product, the price started to trend up and up. Makes sense, right? People went out of stock, supply and demand evened out, and the price is able to go up. So if you are, you know, you're carrying this product and you see a similar trend start to happen this year, instead of selling it right now for, you know, it looks like about $16, you might say, hey, last Christmas, the price went way up. I bet you could zoom out here and you'd probably see that that same pattern happen a lot of these years. Yes, yeah, so you can see that the sales rank went way down as we go towards Christmas and the price goes up. Seems like a pretty common, consistent theme on this product, right? So you might look at this and say, hey, I'm going to wait until Christmas comes around for me to sell this product. I might make a lot more money. So that's just a super quick and dirty breakdown of Keepa right there. I like to get a full picture of the item, make sure that the prices are consistent, make sure that there's no you know recent increases in new sellers, where again, that supply and demand would be kicked off or if a whole bunch of new sellers come on the listing, see in this case, it's pretty stable. It's about 30 sellers down there on the bottom. You know, 90 days ago, we had 35 sellers. So if we saw 35 sellers 90 days ago and there's 60 sellers today, again, something's got to give. The price is probably going to go down because there's more supply. So super simple kind of insights you can draw from stuff like that. And I also want to show you a more advanced application of Keeper right here. So this is just a different product that I found on Amazon. And one thing I want to show you here is that Keeper is going to be able to reveal a bunch of opportunities for you as well, right? So with this product, we can see that if we, you know, especially if we simplify it here, we can see that Amazon is pretty much always on this product, right? And typically you don't want to sell a product that Amazon is also selling because it's Amazon's ball park. A lot of times they'll hog sales on these listings. Now, there's plenty of listings without Amazon to make money on, but that's just kind of the reality of how Amazon works a lot of time. But there's a lot of advanced data on Keepa that you're going to want to take advantage of as well. So you can go right down here. You can go to data, buy box statistics. And in this case, we see that Amazon is selling this product super, super consistently. But when we throw in the buy box price line, so the buy box is just charting what this button is over time. So it's saying, hey, what price is the button that says add to cart? So in this case, it's like 50 bucks right now, right? There it is, 50 bucks on the buy box. So on this listing, we can see that the buy box is consistently lower than Amazon's price, which tells me that us as third party sellers, we can come onto this listing and make sales. So if you're able to come over here and find this product for, let's say, what is it, you know, 20 bucks or so, you could come and make some profit, right? Even though Amazon is selling this product, another thing, like I, as I was saying here, you can go to data, buy box statistics, and this is going to show you over whatever time period you want, who's making the sales, right? So over the last 30 days, Amazon's only made 3% of the sales, even though they've been fully in stock on this listing. Over the last 180 days, they've made over, you know, about 70% of the sales. So we can pretty quickly see that this might be an opportunity that's better now than it used to be, maybe something to kind of act on a little bit there, right? So the buy box statistics is something that is super, super useful. Another thing that you may want to take advantage of here with Keepa as well is the variations feature. So for example, we can grab our ASIN over here from seller app. This is the next tool we'll talk about and then just punch it in over here. So if we post that right there, we're going to see only the results for this particular variation. So this is telling me that, hey, this one two person tent, the green tent has about 6,500 ratings. So it's selling pretty 
pretty fast and you can see the, the velocity at which the new ratings are coming in and you got to figure if people are leaving new ratings they're probably buying this product so if you see an increase in this line it's pretty reasonable to assume that, that there's actually sales happening on this product right so that's another thing to be on the lookout for and then one last thing that is kind of the more advanced side of keepa is the data offers tab i've gone back over to this kind of example product here what i like to do is go data offers and then include historical so this is showing me anyone who's ever sold this product and it's showing me their stock history and the price that it was each day that it, they had it in stock right so i can see that this seller right here they were selling it over time for about 17 bucks and on july 19th they had you know 1200 in stock and now they're down to about 500 in stock so we can see that they're making serious sales on this listing and this can be another way to validate that a listing is actually selling so those are the major applications for keeper there like i said it's only 20 bucks a month so it's super super worth it it is one of those very essential tools for your amazon business so that takes me into my next tool that i want to talk about here that's going to be seller amp full transparency this is our product research tool we do own this tool i joined the team after realizing that it's the best product research tool on the market though so i'm confident that you guys will find similar success as all of our other current users do as well but i just want to kind of introduce you to the tool and be transparent with that right so this is an example of a product that i've used in the past it's something that we sourced on a different website for 18 dollars, and now it's selling on amazon for about 44 dollars. something that's also funny is i use this as an example in a couple of videos i try not to burn too many people's products just as examples and videos so i like to reuse the same product and no one acted on it i guess it's still profitable there's only eight sellers on the listing so congrats to everyone or maybe if you're one of those couple people who bought it after watching a video then way to go you're making money but i want to do a quick breakdown of why this tool is so important right so this is kind of your swiss army knife for amazon sellers again this tool starts at about 19 bucks a month 20 bucks a month so super super affordable and keepa and seller amp are all you really need to do product research in fact there are seven figure amazon sellers only using keepa and seller amp to do their product research and i'll kind of show you how they're using these two tools to do product research right so the quick and dirty of it super basic stuff up here is it's going to estimate how many sales per month these listings are getting so here we can see you know this soccer ball is selling a little over 100 times a month it's going to act as a profit calculator as well so let's say you bought it for 18 bucks like we found it for in the past you can see we're going to make about 10 dollars profit profit margin roi all that kind of stuff you can play around with this so you know what happens if the price goes down to you know i don't know 35 bucks right i'm still making money i'm making less money obviously right so you can play around with all that the max cost i think is super useful as well it just kind of suggests based on your settings how much you need to source that product for to be profitable so it's something really really valuable to think about as you're going out and sourcing products and you can see average prices all that good stuff again i've done full guides on seller amp so i won't go too into the nitty gritty here just want to show you guys the super super important stuff so you got the charts function it is the same data as the keepa data down here you're just going to want keepa to have that more advanced data that i was talking about there can get away with just seller amp for like a month or two but i would highly recommend just to go for both it's going to set you up for success in the long run you can see the fees and all that in more detail and then we got some google sheets features i'll show you how this works here in just a second but this is kind of the big one right so with the seller amp tool over here it's going to be able to power you sourcing probably your first profitable products and since we found this product profitably it's pretty reasonable that these other sellers are going to be selling name brand products sourced from everyday websites we can probably find those same exact products and so what's really interesting is when you click on any of these sellers here using a seller amp here you can start to see the exact products that they're selling you can see the keepa charts embedded over here so you can kind of get a real bird's eye view of these actual products here i'm also going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the brands they're selling so this seller is you know really sticking to that nike maybe their own kind of brand of some kind they got going there and we can go in and use these storefronts as a way to figure out new brands to sell new products let me see if we can get a little bit more variety as well so these people really love nike and that kind of stuff so that's totally fine right went ahead and popped open a couple more of these listings here you can see here's a couple other brands that i mean you can start to be on the lookout for asics new balance all that kind of stuff stuff that you maybe didn't know that you could even sell on amazon and so as we're going through these different storefronts here you can start to ask yourself do i think i can buy this item for this max cost so this is the cost that you need to buy it for to make you know a decent profit on this listing if you think you can go ahead and hit the google button there and that's going to start to search that item for you. You can dig through Google, try to find coupon codes, all that kind of stuff to get the item for that cheap option right there. That $23 price point is kind of where we're making money on this listing. And the reason why this is kind of the best way to get started as a beginner is because you're going straight to sellers who already found good profitable products. They're already selling well, and you're not having to go and just open up, you know, let's say you're looking for Nike products or something, right? You're not just going to Nike.com blind. You're probably not going to know what you're looking for. You're not going to know where to start. It looks like right now there's a decent sale that probably a lot of you guys are taking advantage of making good 
good money on. But if you open this up and there are, you know, 2,300 different products here, you're not going to have any idea what to look at. So this product research method helps you shortcut going from what types of products in these brands sell well to be just being able to skip straight to the website, right? So I personally do nearly all my sourcing just directly on these websites, but it's only because I did enough reverse sourcing here to know the types of products, to know the types of brands that do super well on Amazon. And then I just go look directly through sales that are going on. And once you're at that stage in your Amazon business, you can also start to leverage SellerAmp a little bit here as well. And this is how I do a lot of my product research now. So instead of looking through different storefronts, I'm going to go to brands that I know do well, sales that I really like to buy from, sites that I like to buy from. And then using SellerAmp here, it's going to automatically pull the title into our Chrome extension over here. And it's going to find the correct Amazon listing for you. So we can just go ahead and pop this one open here. And we can see that if we go check out some of these shirts, they're selling anywhere from $40 to $55. Over here, these shirts were about 20 bucks. A lot of them are out of stock, that kind of stuff. But just kind of a quick example for you, just kind of a quick example of a win, right? So the size that's over here currently in stock that evens out to be the triple XL here. And if we punch all that in, currently selling for 50 bucks, we're making $13 profit on this listing, right? So this saves you the effort of having to copy paste products into Amazon. You can start to get a really good idea of what products sell for all without having, because typically you'd have to, you know, grab that, paste it into Amazon, scroll through, seller ramp kind of saves you a bunch of steps there. And again, you know, 20 bucks a month, depending on how much you're valuing your time, that feature alone might be worth it for you. So then another thing I want you to think about, like I was talking about with the Google Sheets feature of SellerAmp, it's going to help you kind of get ahead of the curve a little bit, especially as we head into Q4. I want to show this as an example. So we can see down here on Keepa how this product every Christmas, the sales rent goes way down, right? We were talking about that where seasonally the prices go up when the sales are going down, especially if supply is equal, right? So you can see these were typically going for like 90 bucks during Christmas time. They were going for upwards of, you know, like, what, like 125 bucks for a pair of pants. This might be something you'd want to store and remember, right? So right now it's only about 75 bucks, probably not the best time of year to buy this product, but I don't want to forget about this product. I want to come back to it when Christmas rolls around, right? So in, you know, Black Friday, early November, that kind of stuff, when I can start stocking up for Christmas products. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the Christmas button on my Google Sheets right there. And that's going to export some pretty basic information to my Google Sheet here. This Google Sheet also is completely configurable as well. So you can move around, you know, whatever data you want to export, you can add a bunch of new data. So you can even add like package length and millimeters. Like there's tons of different options on these Google Sheets with the Christmas type products. I'm just trying to remember it, right? I just want to come back to it. So I'm just going to write down, you know, the ASIN, the URL, so that come November, I can come back to it. And I'll have a big list of products that I might be able to source just that I was already finding when I was kind of stumbling across stuff. Cause you know, right now price is way lower. It might not be the right time to source it, but you don't want to forget about a product where, you know, last, last year it was an amazing opportunity. Every year it's been an amazing opportunity. I want to come back to that. And a lot of times I'm using these softwares is going to help you save a ton of work, make way more money while you're doing it. So then the last tool I want to break down for you guys that you'll probably want for your arbitrage business is a repricer. So you can see right here, I'm within the back end of my repricer. I use Be Cool personally. It's about 25 bucks a month to get started. I've tested a lot of the repricers on the market and it's definitely the best in that price range for sure. And basically the way it works is as you add more and more products to your Amazon storefront, it's going to take time to start monitoring the prices, right? So you need to make sure that your price is roughly in the same range as the other sellers on that listing. Sales are going to rotate pretty evenly as long as your prices are, but they might have some automated tools that might be lowering prices below you. They might also be raising prices and you there's no reason to not follow them up and make some more money if it's on the table, right? And so these repricing tools allow you to set a range. So a minimum price and a maximum price. You can also pick a custom repricing rule here. And all these settings are configurable. Again, I've got full tutorials on Be cool. If you don't have a repricer set up yet, I would say you really need one by the time you're selling a couple thousand bucks a month on Amazon. It's just going to help you out a little bit. Like I said, it's only 25 bucks a month as well. So if you're going in and changing prices, even an hour a month, you're valuing your time at 25 bucks an hour. And that's probably just not what you're after. It's probably not going to be acceptable for you as a business owner. And so as you're going into be cool here, you can go ahead and start setting these minimum and maximum price windows. And that's just going to make sure that, you know, whatever you set up, you know, typically you're going to have it just follow the buy box price. And that's just going to make sure that if somebody drops the price here, in this case, if they drop it down to 10 bucks or something, you're going to stay at 1261. And then that's just going to say, Hey, hopefully I'm going to let that guy at $10 sell out and it'll come back up. So you are going to have to check your repricer from time to time to go in and lower prices, raise prices, all that kind of stuff. But it's going to do a lot of that day to day movement and prices for you. And this repricer also does it every 15 minutes. So especially for my Amazon store that has, you know, hundreds of products, there's thousands and thousands of price changes going on every single day to keep us competitive, to keep us making sales. And those are up and down, right? So this is not just, you know, lowering your prices over time. That's what a big misconception is about a lot of repricers. It's also helping you increase your profits. And it's just going to let you save some of that time so you can go get back to sourcing more products. Because at the end of the day, sourcing products is what makes you the most money. So any of these tools that you can use to make sourcing faster or do less of things that aren't sourcing is a good business decision for you. So like I said, a super brief introduction to B 
Beacle here. I've got a full tutorial on the channel. If you guys do end up using Beacle, if you use the link down below, you do get an extended trial. And that also helps me out for kind of sharing some value with you guys. So if you do end up using the repricer, I'd appreciate you using that link down below. So to wrap up the video here, I also want to show you some super cool free tools. There's no reason not to have these. So the first one's going to be Capital One Shopping. This is a Chrome extension. So you can see I've got it up here in the top right corner. It's basically like a coupon extension and it's going to find a lot of those coupons for you on websites. So it has kind of a list of deals you could look for. Probably not going to be a ton going on here. You can also look through this website and they do have like a list of trending coupons, that kind of thing. Another free good resource to find some potential sales is going to be Deals Plus right here this is one that i like to reference back to so it shows you different sales going on so you can see macy's has a sale going on today looks like jc penny's got a sale children's place so you can see where it might be the best place for you to look for profitable products that day a lot of times the best place to look it's gonna be the place with the lowest prices right so it makes the most sense to just look for super good sales going on another free tool i want to show you guys real quick is cashback monitor do again doing a lightning round of some awesome freebies for you so cashback monitor just lets you kind of aggregate what's the best cashback rates on my products so you can see if i'm buying products from ulta i should be using you know rebates me or top cash back or one of these up at the top and i'm going to get you know three and a half percent back or two percent back every time i'm buying products and all those little percentage changes really can make a big difference my amazon business i live 100 percent off just the cash back from my business because we're spending you know six figures a month so it's several thousand dollars a month i'm just generated in cash back rewards right so really cool to be able to use these tools and just add extra money to your amazon business there and then in that similar vein here another site you might want to think about here again free to use is raise so anytime you're buying products again with ulta you got that cash back through those different websites here. If you don't want to use that, you can go through raise here and buy 5% off gift card and then use that gift card on your purchase at Ulta. So again, lots of cool ways to add extra margin to your business. Hopefully a couple of those free tools also help you out and boost your margins. So I appreciate you guys watching to this point in the video. Again, I want to mention that if all this looks like a lot of fun for you, you want to start an Amazon business, we are doing a free live Amazon masterclass for you guys. It's been a ton of fun to do the couple we've done so far. We'll keep doing them every couple of weeks. And so if you want to hop on a call with us, we'll show you some live demonstrations of how to source products how to get set up for yourself and also answer your direct questions. You can go ahead and register for the free masterclass down below. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. If you guys did get value out of this video, please feel free to share some of that value back with me. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, all that good stuff helps me out with the algorithm. Also, let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'm always happy to answer those for you guys down below in the comment section, but I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time.